Hey guys, welcome to an exciting tutorial. We will be creating a jumper effect from, you know, movie jumper. And, um, it's kind of my own effect. I don't, I don't really know how they made theirs, but this is how I'm making mine. Um, a couple of things you're going to need. Uh, Action Essentials 2 uh, for the ground cracks and the dust waves. Um... Let's see what else. I did coloring. I did a little bit of coloring, but I don't think I'm gonna do that in this tutorial. Um, make it, make it your own coloring. You know, add some curves, levels, tint, and uh, that's pretty much it. And um, and uh, let's see. All right. Well. <laughs> That was awesome. You know it was. I know it was. So, um, well, let's move on. Uh, first off, we're gonna start a new... Start a new comp. Alright, so now we're gonna drag our video footage into the comp. Mine's a little bit smaller, but I'm just gonna scale it up. Alright, it's pretty good. Um, now when it's scaled up, here it is, here's the video, jumps, well, in this video he wasn't really supposed to jump, I'm supposed to make him fly, but I decided to do a little jumper video instead. Alright, so he runs on over, does another little jump, lands, and then runs off the screen. Alright, so now we're going to come up to the point that we want him to disappear, which is right around here. Hold on, this comp's not long enough for the video, so drag it out. Stop it about right here. Start it right here. End it right there. Yeah, that's good. Alright, now you're going to uh, come to where there's a part of the video where there's nothing in it. Just, you know, no one's standing there or anything. See, I have at the end of my video, no one's standing there. And you want to go up and hit layer, no, composition, save frame as, Photoshop layer. Now, I already have mine, say, I already have my Photoshop layer. So, um, I'm just going to drag that out here, put it right there disappears. Boom. Alright. Now, um, we're gonna set this up to show up right as it ends, and right as we want him to appear again. Let's go all the way down, like this. Oop. Let's let it undo that. Did a little too far. Now we drag it. Alright. We want him to stop. Come up right here. Alright. So we got a quick transition. Bam. And bam. Runs out. Alright. Now, next is uh, the effect to make it look like he disappeared down there. Alright, so, runs, disappears. Alright. Alright, well, um, we're gonna go ahead and add the, uh, Action Essentials 2 stuff that we're gonna need. Um, go ahead and just pull in all the stuff we're gonna need. You're gonna need Ground Crack, uh, 2, and then you're gonna need, uh, Dust Wave 5 and 4. So, um, go ahead and pull those in to After Effects. Um, we're going to drag out Dust Wave 5 to start this off. And uh, you're going to want to shrink it down. Let's see. And we're going to start this a little bit right here. We're going to start this a little as soon as he starts to take off like that. And he disappears. Then it goes away. All right. That's actually pretty good. All right. Now you're going to want to click on Dust Wave 5. 
um, uh, get your rectangle tool and just double click on it. Automatically makes a square mask around the entire thing. And then we're just going to uh, click on the mask, bring it up just a little bit, and then press M twice, and then feather it a good bit. So. Let's actually bring this down a little bit about right here. Move it. Alright, All right, that's looking pretty good for me right now. And you can see that the this PSD picture that I got is a little bit brighter than this spot right here. It's a little bit brighter, but um, I'm not going to fix that with coloring or anything, I'm just going to let it go with the video, so, just doing the effect. Um, so now it comes up, disappears, now we want to make it look like he actually disappears instead of the video doing a transition. Um, so let's get up right about right here, we're going to zoom into this real quick, and then we're going to add a adjustment layer, layer new, adjustment layer. And then um, the effects we're going to apply to it are effects, let's see, let's see, um, stylize embose, here we go. And now we're going to, oh, let me get this right down, alright, screw it. Um, Turn the relief up to about right here. We're going to blend with original, let's see, no. Blend with original just a little bit, about 60% contrast. Let's see, about 145. And then, um, let's see. Now let's keep the contrast the same. We're going to have it blend with original. All right. We're going to keyframe that and relief. Um, so we'll click U to open up the keyframes. Move them both about right here. And then we'll have it about right here start growing. So we'll turn it down about 60. And I'll have to uh, this turn up. And then as soon as it gets to the point where he disappears, we're going to turn it all back down 60. All right. So then you get this little thing right here. Um, we're going to mask this uh, adjustment layer, so grab your pen tool. We're just going to mask around him. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll move this out just a little bit more because his hand is going to be moving a little bit. Move this down a little bit. And then you're going to want to feather it just uh, just enough so let's come into this little part where it's glit he's a little flipping out that's looking pretty good 45 that's looking pretty good and then we're going to want to keyframe the uh, 